So have you ever run into the issue while gaming on your smartphone, whether that be Apple, Android or whatever, and you always come to this conclusion that your phone gets very hot, doesn't matter how much you don't use it, do use it or whatever like that, you realise that when you are gaming your phone gets extremely hot, the where the battery portion at the back of your phone it gets really warm. Now, what do you do to remedy this? Nine times out of ten you buy a case, you buy a big case. But the heat coming from it always seems to annoy the crap out of me. I don't know if it annoys you guys uh, that are watching. But I have to admit, I tried to find um, a way to cool my phone down while gaming. And ironically, I came across a cell phone radiator. Yes, you heard me correctly. I said cell phone radiator. So let's just get into it. And what we're talking about is Windows 10 Pro OEM key, CD key global lifetime. Now the lifetime part is important. So currently it's discounted already from 39.49 down to 16.55, but I'm gonna show you how you can get it for a much cheaper price. And what we need to do is click on buy now. And at the moment our subtotal is 16.55, but if we type in the code SKJT, SKJT, click on apply, this is going to give you an additional 30% off, reducing your price down to £12.41. So from here, all we need to do is click on Submit Order. Now we do have a few selections. You've got all your basics like PayPal, Mint, NeoSurf, but you also have Direct Debit, Credit Card and MasterCard. So you can use this as well. I'm going to use PayPal because this is what I use all the time because it's safer for me. So I'm going to click on PayPal, Pay Now, and I'll be back in a second. And then there is the code. The code in the middle, which is blurred out, is the code you need to actually activate it. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to highlight it. Click on Control C to copy it. And then we need to go over the settings and actually go to the activation page. Activation settings. From here, it says change product key. Click on change, and then you're going to get this little box here. All you need to do is click on Control V or right click and paste. And that's our code there. As soon as I click next, Windows 10 or Windows is going to check to see if it's a genuine key. And then as soon as it's done that, it's going to allow you to activate it. Windows will not allow non-genuine keys to be activated. All you need to do is click on activate and you are pretty much good to go. And the great thing is when you have activated this, this does allow an automatic upgrade to Windows 11 Pro. So please do check the links in the description. If this video did help you in any way, shape or form, please do like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. At the end of the day, I hope you have an amazing day. So guys, this is what we're looking at today. This, ironically, is a cell phone radiator. Cooling down in five seconds, dual semiconductor cooling chip. Now, this is something I've been looking at for a while, always didn't believe in them, but obviously now, the phone I've got now, which is the iPhone 13 Pro Max, even though that's an up-to-date phone, even normal use, it burns like hell, and it gets really hot. So I thought I'd have a look at it, see if it's actually worth buying, see what roughly they work, how they work and what they look like, so I thought, eh, let's get into it, let's have a look at it, so why don't we do that? So inside the box we get the following, we do get a little user manual here, this is pretty much just going to tell you how you actually connect it, how you actually get it working, you know, to do with the power in and the power out. We do get a USB, let's have a little look see here. So we do get a standard USB to USB type C cable going on here. And then we get this little thing here as well. Looks a little bit weird, I know, but this is a stand. So if I just quickly show you here. So they provide the mount, but they don't actually give you the stand, which is quite weird. So what it is is basically you've got four little quadrants there and then basically the stand just sits in like that so you can just have it upright, I guess. Um, I think I have one somewhere, but I don't really know. And then this is the cooler we're looking at. So all plastic chamber, we've got two cooling fans either side with an input as well as an output as well as the screw thread. So if you are going to mount this on a tripod, then be my guest. The input side is USB Type-C, maybe if I get closer it'll be better, USB Type-C, and the output is uh, normal USB, so I believe USB Type-C inside input will be to charge and actually power the device, and then of course you can use the output to actually charge your phone, I guess. Uh, quite a good little installation, probably few too many cables for my liking, but you know. And then we also have a solid metal back here, so you've got a little cooling logo here showing you roughly just where about the cooling is going to be. So what I need to do is grab my phone, I'm going to pop it out of its case. So like I said, iPhone 13 Pro Max, pretty much one of the biggest phones you can get at the moment, uh, especially newer models. And what we're going to do is put this on um, just like that, just roughly so it's in the middle and off the camera. 
so <laughs> and there we have it so this is roughly what it looks like with it on now to be honest with you it doesn't look the worst um i normally hold my phone like that and as you can see i'm pretty much okay like if i'm going to be gaming like this it's not too bad if i'm gaming like this obviously the fans are protected by the plastic shroud so it won't be an issue but still it's not too bad it looks quite big and chunky but ironically it's all right now they do claim that the fans are silent so that's one thing i need to test out so what i need to do is plug in uh, get some power to this cable and this should go to the input sign we should see a little indication pop up oh there we go straight away we're on i don't think i can actually they are extremely silent i have to admit so yes you've got the cable coming out the bottom which isn't such actually a bad issue um, obviously if you are going to be charging normally charging it through the bottom here you're going to have a cable there which isn't a massive issue for some people but for others it can become an issue i'm going to quickly load into apex i've only just realized you can actually get this on your mobile phone now so we're going to go through the process of this and obviously games for iphones seem to just light the phone on fire to put it in layman's turns it is ridiculous it is actually really quiet i can't hear actually anything coming from the back of it and the rest of the phone normally it's obviously getting warm by now the rest of the phone does feel quite cool there is a slight little breeze coming out from the side of the vents uh, just on this portion here but i have to admit it's not actually that bad like the rgb i, I suppose it's not wasted the rgb there for a reason make it look a little bit cool and unique i suppose if i knocked all the lights off and i just dim them ones yeah it does look quite cool i have to admit you're definitely going to impress a few people if they're watching you game um but all in all not actually that bad the cable is pretty generic obviously usb type c cables power everything nowadays so obviously if you've only got a very small cable that it comes with or if you've got like a three meter five meter cable then you're pretty much good to go as well as if you are gaming with this to try and keep your phone cool there's a usb port at the top so it allows you to charge your phone as well so I suppose they actually have four of everything. Now, if you do find, obviously, what these things do mount onto, I need to try and find one. So if I screw that into there for a second, I'm going to see if I've got one. So I do actually have one here. This is for the ring light I'm currently using. So what this is essentially is it's got a little uh, mount on the side there as well as uh, the little ball and socket here. So what you can do is insert that into there if it's going to let me. So I have actually figured it out. So what essentially this is, that that pops onto that, that slides onto there. And then what you essentially have is like a little tripod stand for this as well. So connects to the back of the cooler as well as your phone. You tighten that up, that screws into there. And then that hooks onto, I don't know, a tripod stand or anything like that. So that's definitely something obviously interesting obviously if you're going to be watching movies on your phone um obviously it's not going to work on the likes of a tablet or anything so it's too small um but definitely that's something as well or even if you do have a tripod mount for it yourself you can also do that but all in all it is quite cool and ironically my phone is actually really cold i only realized the other day that league of legends is league of legends oh my god um is actually on mobile phones apex legends shall i say I'm not good at it on a PC, so I'm probably not going to be very good on... But no, I have to admit, it does keep your phone nice and cool. Um, I don't really have any issues at the moment. I'm not sure if there's an app where you can actually check the temperature of your phone. Yeah, so all in all, guys, if you do want to go check these out for yourself, like I said, please do go check the links in the description. It ironically looks like it doesn't, but it actually does work. Keeps the phone nice and cool. Uh, both sides of my phone is nice and cool but as you're holding it it does actually blow a small amount of cool air onto your hands as well obviously stops it from sweating or whatever you want to call it so yeah i definitely have to admit if you are interested check the links go grab yourself one and have a cooler gameplay when it comes to your phone <laughs> now out of all the videos i've done regarding smartphone technology and accessories this has to be one of my favorite i have to admit I actually really like the design. I am, when I was looking at one of these, I did see that there were some bigger ones, there were smaller ones. I kind of went for one that was roughly within the within the middle, just so I could get like the best uh, out, uh, out of what it was going to offer. 
But I have to admit, they weren't lying when they said the fans on this little guy were silent, because they are silent. And they do a really good job. You've got the cooling plate on the back, which is going to be sitting right behind the actual battery on the phone, so it's going to help cooling and dissipate that heat as much as it possibly can. You've got the fans on the side as well, so the way you hold it, it does distribute a small amount of cool air towards your fingertips, so it does actually help in that way as well. And I have to admit, it really was incredible. So we did use it on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is uh, ironically one of, the, one of the biggest smartphones you can get at the moment, one of the newest ones, one of the biggest ones, and it did fit it perfectly. So I have to admit, an absolutely incredible product. So if you do want to go check one out for yourself, please do check the video description. There'll be a link there so you can go grab one for yourself and make your gaming experience a lot cooler, if that's the best way to say it. No, but I have to admit, if you do get one, you run into any issues, please do let me know in the comment section below. And if this video did help you in any way, shape or form, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, I really do hope you have a cool gaming day.